Why, hello there, I am Jake Roper. We might have just seen each other on the video over on my channel, Vsauce3. And if you didn't come from that video, I would highly recommend going to Vsauce3 and checking it out. This video is all a behind the scenes about how this incredible set was made and the actual production of making the video. Two, one, I think it's really exciting. You might learn some fun stuff, and you know what? We get to hang out just a little bit longer. So I met Lowe's at VidCon, and I had this idea to recreate the traps from the movie and explore the science behind it. Six, six broken ribs. This is another one where like, you just need to go to a hospital immediately. Because I've always been curious what would happen if, you know, if say a paint can were to hit you in the head. The thing that I wanted that I couldn't get myself was a scale replica of the foyer. If there was only someone I knew who could build it. So they, they watched the movie, or the behind the scenes for the movie, and they figured out what they actually needed to do for the set by judging what lenses they were using behind the scenes to film the actual movie. Besides that, Lowe's used reference images, 3D mock-ups, and layouts to recreate the foyer to the right scale and to the dimensions of the house. But they would take that much energy and that much devotion to make something for, for a science video on the internet is pretty darn neat. Finding a space big enough was also another challenge. Not because of floor space, but because it needs to be a two-story set, which is very large and very difficult to come by. The initial construction took about three and a half weeks, including forming, painting, flooring, and electrical, but it all came together and it is so yeah, yeah, dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and since this was all for science, it made sense to paint the set entirely white. Except a few particularly iconic elements, like the staircase and banister railing. So this video is unique because it's not only a collaboration with a brand, but also a collaboration with two um, other YouTube channels, Threadbanger and Mark Rober. I cut him off, basically. <laughs> and they're both just incredibly talented channels. And Mark's a great creator, Rob and Corinne are great hey! creators, and I'm just so stoked to work with them because they bring different, incredible stuff to the video. Hey Mark, did you read that trophy? Uh, it says Mark Rober, YouTube heavy hitter award. That's you guys yeah, didn't have says, to do right? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You spelled my last name wrong, but it's oh, cool. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Mark is amazing at science, which means there is virtually a hundred percent chance that you would get knocked out, and a forty-two percent chance that your skull would actually crack. Threadbanger is amazing at being themselves. <laughs> hey, he's at the top of the stairs. Ah! What is this happening to me? <laughs> So it's just really unique and it allows me to work with more people than I would be able to normally. In a situation that I never would have had normally. Because like I said, this shot's gonna be pretty complicated because we go, have to light there, light here, go all the way up the stairs to me. So not only do we have a bunch of amazing creators on this project, but we also have a bunch of amazing cameras. Mark Rober was nice enough to get us a Phantom, which is an incredible slow motion camera. And that's what we're gonna use for the pancake to the face and the crowbar to the chest. And it's just incredible because it allows you to do up to almost 7,000 frames per second so you can really see everything that's happening. You can see the momentum being absorbed. It's fantastic. Then we also have a wonderful thermal camera that we're using for the hot door handle to actually see how heat is transferred through an object, to see how hot it gets, how quickly it gets that hot. The nice thing about this whole production, and not to be too sappy about it, is that everyone that's a part of it is really excited about it. Yeah. And really wants to make it incredible, which is so important and so valuable. And it's something that I find in production that's kind of rare. A lot of people treat it as a job and then they move on with their lives. They don't even really watch what they created. But this is something where everyone is invested and involved. <laughs> and I think that stems from a lot of the fact that the crew is very small and they just put everything they had into making this, which is very nice.